days after Russia's largest democracy demonstration in a generation. The only response from Russian President Dmitry Medvedev? Two lines in Facebook. He wrote, I agree neither with the slogans nor the statements voiced at the protests. Within minutes, readers demanded which slogans? This one, crooks and thieves give us back our elections? Or this one, fair elections for the people? Within 24 hours, more than 12,000 Russians put their names on the line with such insults as shame and pathetic. Suddenly, middle-class Russians say they are fed up in public. Mikhail Morozov, a sales manager, went to the protest with his sign reading, Where is my vote, wizard? People who never went before or were never interested in politics went to vote. They woke up the next day and they informed us that it didn't make any difference that we went. It turns out that they had already chosen everyone, and we don't agree with that. Protests were held last weekend in 95 cities across Russia. We have uh, tens of thousands of people come out to demonstrate against the elections of last Sunday. It seems to be a game-changing event in Russian history, very peaceful. Uh, the whole apathy of the Russian youth seems to have been broken by the uh, cries of fraud surrounding uh, last Sunday's election. Evgeny Chesnikova, a 30-year-old chess teacher, came to Moscow's protest with flowers, symbolizing her hope the protests will remain peaceful. I came here today because uh, this uh, autocracy regime of Putin, it cannot stay anymore. It's all of criminals and corruption. Prime Minister Vladimir Putin wants to extend his rule of Russia by six more years by winning the presidential election in March. But these protesters want him out by New Year's. On Monday, Mikhail Prokhorov, Russia's third richest man and owner of the New Jersey Nets basketball team in the United States, announced he is running for president. <laughs> Masha Lipman, an analyst with Carnegie Center Moscow, says Mr. Putin's popularity has been dropping since he announced a job switch with President Medvedev three months ago. The trend is negative for Putin. People are angry and at the same, at the same time invigorated by, by uh, the success of their collective action. Um, uh, the the uh, uh, Putin's rating uh, is on decline, has been on decline for quite some time now. Lipman says Mr. Putin is gambling that he can ride out the protest storm until Christmas and New Year's when Russians take a two-week winter break. It may be that the calculation of the government is let them let off steam. Um, soon we're going to have a long holiday in Russia. But with new presidential candidates positioning themselves, Russia's powerful church chiding the Kremlin to hold clean elections, and internet activists working overtime to organize a national wave of new protest on December 24, Russia's political future is now clouded by a large question mark. James Brook, VOA News, Moscow.